Material properties, diffuse, specular, and gloss. So I'm going to go up and say create. I'm going to go to materials. I'm going to create a mud box material. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this one a material. I'm going to just give it a dash diffuse. All right. And I'm going to change the diffuse. I'm going to give it, say, a red color. All right. Now, our diffuse color is really the base color of the material. Okay, so I'm going to close this. And you can see now I've created a material diffuse. So now I'm going to come over here, uh, sorry, on the right click on the object. I'm going to say assign existing material. I'm going to assign that material diffuse. And you can see now I have that red uh, base color. Now let's create another material. Let's go to create. I'm going to create a material. I'm going to create a mud box material. I'm going to call this one specular. All right. And I'm going to change the color of the specular one to, let's say, a green. Okay. And I'm going to close this. And the specular is really the highlights of the material. Uh, what are the highlights, the color of the highlights? So I'm going to right click and assign an existing material. And I'm going to go with specular. And you can see that this is the highlights, the shiny highlights uh, of the object is uh, on there. Remember, this is not paint. This is how the object uh, reacts to the characteristics of light. Now, let's go and create another material. I'm going to go up to create. I'm going to create a material, a mud box material. And I'm going to call this one gloss. And now, the gloss is really the size of the specular reflection. All right? So when we have a low value, it is a smaller specular highlight. We have high value, it's a large one. So when I go to gloss, what they're talking about in the low and high values uh, is down here in the values, down here in the blacks is a low value. And in the white, it's a large value. So I come up here, um, all the way up here, here's a large value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose um, up here a large value of white. So I'm going to just pick white and say done. I'm going to close that. And now I'm going to right click and assign a material gloss. You can see it's small. So, um, I, sorry, I had that backwards. So the, the large value, the whites, are the very small size. So I'm going to go back here to the gloss now. And so I, I'm going to edit this color. And I'm going to go and pick a grayscale. You can see how it's a little bigger. I can pick even more of a larger grayscale. It gets even bigger. All right? So I'm down here to white. It's very small. As I go to some gray, light gray gets a little bigger. Darker gray gets a little bigger. Deep gray gets even bigger. I'll get all the way up here. And so it's nearly black, it's getting black, it's a larger specular reflection. And if I go all the way up to black, boom, it gets really distorted there. So we're trying to pick between the shades of white and black that determines the size of this. So the white is small and the near blacks are larger. So the gloss is the size of this specular reflection. All right, so I'm going to say done. And so I tr I've created three different materials here so that we wouldn't get the confusion of one a particular property with the other property. By making just one change to each material, we easily can see those different uh, uh, characteristics of the properties of how the light reflects off of our object in these mud box materials.